Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. I hope you can see my screen. Yeah, I'm going to share this. All right. So, uh, it's my. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. Good afternoon and salam sejahtera, everyone. Uh, my name is Yap Kian Ming. So, I'm basically from some years, as you know, that when you join this section, uh, basically, you know that. Um, uh, we have been some way business school actually hosting this entire section, but I'm basically from school of engineering and technology. So in some university, uh, we actually uh doing multidisciplinary research. We basically kind of uh, working together with other school. That's why I'm here. But today I'm going to bring you uh some of these um uh, invention that I have linking with the uh what we call it uh the IOT and uh, IR 4.0 and so that we hope that we can create uh, a better world, better business world to improve your productivity. So I basically working together with Sunway Business School under the cluster is called Sustainability Cluster. So uh, we are basically, uh, uh, I create a, a platform, an IOT platform and then business school will kind of uh, helping me working together to improve, uh, to help the SME to improve productivity okay so uh okay so i i think you should know just let me maybe I'll just double check what i have here so making sure everything is okay okay that's fine okay uh then uh as you know that uh some university uh, is located in banda Sameh and we are basically uh, one of the uh, top private university in malaysia so we our qs ranking and everything we are doing here also go back to this uh, IR 4.0. In fact, we want to turn the entire city into the, uh, what we call a smart city, okay? So uh, our university actually basically is uh, ranked like in QS ranking and in some of this Tatara and the whole premium digital tech. And I personally, myself, I'm from the research center, it's called Human Machine Collaboration Research Center under school at uh, technology, engineering and technology. So many of you have seen this uh, photo before when you come to uh, Banda Sunday. Okay, so um, after this, you can uh, post some Q&A section. But today, the majority, uh, major thing that I want to share with you is about the invention, uh, that a small little invention happening in my research lab. So we basically built a system uh, to help SME to improve your productivity. And being uh, Malaysia already uh, independent for 60 over years, and it's a lovely country, and so that I hope I can contribute uh, to with this uh, society. So our school basically have uh, 1,300 students, and we have nine academic program, and also got two academic department, so and five research center. So uh, you might be wonder why five research center is more than uh, two academic department, because uh, we are very, uh, in some ways, we are very focusing on the, what we call research, R&D, okay? So R&D is the one that actually can help every one of us to uh, improve productivity so as to improve our income, you know? <laughs> so it's very important. So it's very important. So uh, that's why we only have two departments, but we have five research centers. So I will, I just go through briefly my background and my, my affiliation, which is my university. And then we'll take you through on sharing with you some of the government project uh, we work together with the company so to give you some idea how you can use existing technology so as to uh, help your company to grow or help your flat tree and i know some of this solution it may not be like uh you think it, 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 it may not be like off of the shelf it's kind of, kind of custom made so you, you might be wonder you want to find a china make one actually china make they they might not be customized for you. So I'm basically working very hard to promote uh, local invention. I mean, not necessarily lo uh, uh, local make is uh, more expensive than China because uh, the view I see is that uh, we understand more about ourselves, okay? So we actually can customize some of the, um, uh, your, we can answer some of your problem actually. So we have five research center as you shown on the screen in front of you now. And then uh, we have physics, uh, applied physics and radiation, and the common CO2 capturing. And I myself is the uh, head for human machine collaboration. I do robotics, IoT, AI, uh, 
I mean, everybody talk about AI. Actually, AI is very big, but I do I use AI to perform human machine collaboration. That's the right right thing to say. It doesn't mean I use the entire AI work. So uh, I I more focus on sensory technology like haptic sense of smell or taste, and I also supervise final year student we do some we invent some system for our local company so that's why i think you are here so i mean today is a good event by astro awani thank you very much because it's a time for us to reboot means that uh for the past we, we whatever mentality or thing that we have actually we have to change means you have to switch up, uh, reboot your computer you know reboot yourself you want everyone of us and then the fourth center is more material the uh, the second two cent uh the last two center more on uh, nano material okay and then we have 2d material itself as well so and then this our school management structure okay our dean our associate dean and then we must uh, uh having all these from different background okay some of them are expatriate from overseas some are local including myself and then uh some from uk some from pakistan and Bangladesh. so this is my uh human uh team so uh, it means that uh, I'm not only working uh, together with other department or other school, but we, between our human team, we also have different diversity of members. For example, we have psychology. Okay, Dr. Ling basically, because in human is involving human factors. So it's uh, everything is human. You, you heard about has yeah, human computer interaction, but we promote even higher level, not only computer anything to do with machinery we also think that uh, where human can come in okay uh, we are not talking only we, we, we of course we do fundamental research but we also have applied research we apply our uh, research uh, output into a real uh, real factory scenario that's what our intention is i hope uh, for example if some of you are for food industry like i, I got a lot of uh, inquiry from uh, manufacturer of uh, uh, producer of nasi lemak how to fold the nasi lemak uh, fast in one minute i mean around 1000 pack in one minute <laughs> those kind of challenge thing. you know some of you are supplying to hotel or maybe government or private sector i think you do need to think about how you can improve your productivity okay you do have to buy a very advanced machine sometimes you just need to think a little bit how you can use whatever resources you have to solve a single problem okay that's what i i want to deliver to you so uh, a little bit more background about my center so we are doing with sense like haptic touch sense when you see my, when you listening to me it's through audio and video through your eyes but we also invented some of the uh, robotic I, I should not bring for you to see now because it's just sitting there uh robotic to enable touch sensation through the internet so like we shake, shake hand over the internet this is not something very new but it could be new for SME, okay, so means that you can feel the touch of your remote uh, colleague or customer, okay. So we also do AI and HCI with IoT involving human factor, okay. We will consider human, like your workers. That's why I want to uh, inter share with you. I mean, I I'm not giving a lecture, but I'm sharing with you what we, we are doing here, okay. So these are some of the facility here uh, in our lab. I would say like uh we we dealing with competition that's our pretty much student project but from the learning of competition we evolve into a system uh so we have, do have some uh robotic hand haptic device you might not know why what haptic is haptic is a sense of touch basically to allow you uh to uh, feel the have the touch sensation over the internet okay then of course we have a uh, scanner uh, if you are industry from uh, you are from the uh, 3d scanner industry i mean pretty much you know better than me and of course we have the industry grade and better system like arm raspberry and sp intel uh, we do have a uh, texas instrument type of, uh, industry and then we also have industry grade drone that we are collaborate with japan aerosense okay so those those are the uh, collaboration with the industry okay not only in malaysia but also uh, in japan okay uh, of course, uh, we, we have a network simulator and also AR and VR device. We invent uh, uh, virtual reality okay, application. Okay. So these are the, uh, just sharing, I would say just sharing. Uh, these are the, we call it some of the work we've done in our human.
Mac Research Center or in some university, School of Engineering and Technology. So the first one we invented is the uh, uh, VR programmer uh, that simulated environment for you to, to learn programming. Okay, when you talk about programming, people might be very scared about programming. Oh, there's a lot of code, thousands of lines. But actually, we also pro propose pro uh, learning programming by uh, by playing a game. Okay, when you play a game, it's, uh, uh, people are very really interested to know what game is. So this is the playing, uh, learning a programming through the VR. Like we have a uh, HTC Vive and Oculus Leaf. Uh, all these things. And then we also have a project with Malaysia Association for the Blind. We are developing an online e-commerce platform whereby we actually allow blind people to shop online. I mean, they, they cannot see, but they can touch. They can touch the object. We also got auto generator for them to smell. I mean, this one not, not only for blind people, for sighted people also possible to enhance your shopping experience. Let's say you want to buy perfume, but you don't have to go to perfume shop. You can come to my store uh then i can release the smell for you to uh, have the sense of smell uh, over there so you know what kind of a scene you buying okay of course uh, not to say we also got some of the uh, wireless charging uh, for drone and we have the robotic for library so i mean library may not be interest to you because you're mostly from sme gun jadi uh, ni. so uh, this robot is allowed to uh, do sorting. Of course, uh, the base will be the same. Let's say if for flat tree, you want to uh, monitor your stock, your warehouse, okay? Like you can use this because the uh, base is minimum uh, solubile. The only change is the sensor. Sensor we uh, change, can change the sensor. We use data sensor, and this one can be used for guidance. I mean, there are some company already making, making the guidance robot. Okay, so we, we make ourselves in-house. And then we also create the, our own simulator for drone simulation. It means that you don't have to buy a drone if you want to simulate something, you can use our platform. You are free to talk to us because we already developed this for more than three years. So you can uh, simulate any environment. So far, uh, for auto sensing, we, 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 we are one of the uh, person who doing this simulator. And then, of course, we uh, because my background is my main user is sensory technology, the force feedback. So we, we are inventing how we can use our uh, sensation, the touch sensation on certain application. So these are the what we call we can putting sensor on the our uh, fingers and that let you uh, feel the vibration. Something like that. Of course, they are farming. We have a request from a Batu Arang owner one of the farm owner to do IOT for their farm. Okay, these are some of the industry projects we are taking in. Of course, uh, we, we don't buy out of the cell. You may say, I want to source. It's possible to source, but a lot of things uh, we can customize for you, you know, whereby other company might not ever interested. One good thing about university is that we also training our future graduate, okay, our next generation. It's very important. And then this is the factory environment. That is a project I'm going to share with you later on. All right, uh, this is who I am and the, my basic background. So you have saw, you have seen my research uh, area. Of course, uh, these are the area we are working at the moment. But not if you have any um, what we call it, any idea or any problem you want to solve, you are feel free to uh, contact me, and I will leave my email to you later on. Okay. Okay, so uh, basically today I'm going to show just one project so that from there you will see how uh, IR 4.0 can really uh, uh, using IR 4.0 combining with the online crowd system that can help you to improve your productivity. A lot of time is talking about data. We have been talking data for maybe the last three years or two years. People talk about data science, data analytics. But we, we are here not to talk about data anything. We are here to make sure that you can capture the data. So our job here is to push the data to the cloud. And then of course you can do analysis that's afterward. So uh, we are breaching the gap between uh, the actual sensor data and the actual data you're going to get. So it's no point to keep on talking data when you don't have data. That, that's my, my thinking of that. So this project actually uh, is funded by Ministry of Higher Education. Uh, there are such grants, I mean, uh, allow SME 
uh, to uh, work together with UNESCO. We call it PPRN. So the I think the current call for this PPRN actually is uh, coming. Is uh, I think it's fourteen of February. So if any SME interested, uh, I can contact me. Uh, not to say you must work with me to apply the grant, but I can tell you how the grant is going to work. So uh, this is the project actually funded last year. So this company is called Tenkai Sanya Berhad. So what Tenkai doing is that they are specialized in uh, consumer electronics. So they make circuit breaker. Uh, they have their factory to make the PC go even from electronic industry. I mean, you, you know all this. Right? So then uh, we Humac basically is uh, focusing on multidisciplinary approach. So we are now finding a solution to real life challenge. Okay. And we are all, uh, all very happy to work with SME. Okay. As long as uh, you, you are with us, uh, what you can get is from my side, it's more technical side. For some way, business school is more on business aspect, how to promote your product. I think we have to work together. That's what uh, basically I, I, I want to share with all you. Okay. So uh, then they have an issue with production output because um, they, they cannot track the number of output they have hourly. Uh, Half, half daily or daily or weekly or monthly because they are doing very manual work. I think uh, quite a number of uh, SME in Malaysia, your tracking uh, system is quite manual. You depend on manpower to track. So manpower means there's a lot of uncertainty you have to deal with. Uh, in certain case, you don't even know what happened to your production floor. Am I right? <laughs> so uh, this company is approaching us so that they want to have an online monitoring system. Uh, in which they will, they hope that they are able to track uh, any of the production output they produce in one day, in two days, even in half an hour. Why they need this? Because uh, by having all this data, they will be able to, for example, the good thing is that they can reward the employees through the reward system. But of course, reverse instance, sometimes you might try before, but you fail. And, but the important thing is they don't know what is the real production output. I mean, uh, if they have a, a data cloud system, AWS system, means that they, they were able to say very clearly. So that is uh, their problem statement in this case. So they do not have a such system for them to monitor. I mean, it's also very tired for them to monitor when they need to depend on supervisor to track the record. So in this case, uh, they, they want to have something, they want something to track the production output. So, so they're basically uh, approaching us through uh, this IoT ecosystem in which uh, they will, can use cloud technology. In this case, AWS, we are developing software for them. So this software, we are able to track every single output they have, uh, either hourly or depending, it's customized, it's very flexible. Uh, what are the, and then you can even print out and become a report. You know, for audit, for, for any ISO audit, also possible. So in this case, uh, we are not digitalized the entire factory. We very focused, means we want to track the uh, output of the uh, factory in terms of their product and in terms of their semi assembler product like PCDA devices. Okay, so that is the automation they are looking for. Okay. All right, so uh, just to show you a big picture of the system we have developed for them. In this case, uh, the first solution will be the cloud-based uh, waving scale. In this case, waving scale, I mean, uh, this is the prototype, to be honest, but we do have a better one, but we didn't put a better one for you to see. And because we call it 3D print, we design in-house. And uh, don't worry, uh, uh, we, if you want the system, you can actually invest and make it better, look better. That's not a problem. The, the major thing is the software. Okay, nowadays, uh, when we talk about IoT, actually, it's the software. How when we use ESP uh, system, of course, these are Wi-Fi, very cheap. Okay, of course, uh, the, in terms of reliability, we still can improve. <laughs> Things can still improve. So what this system can do is that you get a finished product. When you see 0 0.773 means 0 0.773 K G, less than one kg. So in this case, the data, the, the, the last three digit data will be sent to AWS. So imagine you just put the goods on the waving scale and then automatic record and send to uh, the AWS. You don't even need to do anything. The next time you want to do is to look at the data that you captured. So these are all through the IoT and 
uh, I mean, in the bigger context called IR 4.0. La. So we talk IR 4.0 is about data. Okay, so we want to get the data in to the boss that who going to manage the battery, and then the supervisor will just uh, sit down and relax uh, because you, you don't have to worry too much, you know. Uh, unless in a traditional uh, factory environment, the supervisor needs to keep on looking at the screen, keep on looking at the workers, but in this case, let the machine do the work, okay? You may need to uh, just uh, uh, make the, what we call it, maintain it. Uh, maintain, I mean, you do have IT people, you know, you do have the production engineer, okay? So these are the uh, advantage of using this IoT system to help you to manage your factory. I mean, we, we, have, we have been uh, hearing about a lot about this but it's time for us to put this in the smoke into practice to uh, to your company or to your factory because what if you don't do now you will be too late because because uh, before everything become very very expensive and you do some competition okay so uh, digitalized is very important innovative digitalization is very very important that's why i think astro is having this section to kind of uh, bring uh, the awareness uh, to the sme I mean, MNS is one thing, let's do it is the other thing, okay? So uh, this uh, small approach, because we got the grant for, for government, government actually uh, is encouraging, okay, this kind of di in digital innovation, okay? Then uh, the next thing we saw is that uh, we are showing you some technical backdoor, we call it, <laughs> sometimes you can backdoor. <laughs> so then uh, before we had this system, employees will need to estimate sometimes they need to know how many pieces of course when when they become very skillful okay very fast uh why i need to invent this system and the worker can do perfect job what happened the worker is sick what happened if the worker is leaving the factory what happened if the worker is uh poor tax because of any issue and uh, you you don't have people to do right so but the system will not protest system will not be sick except that maybe some maintenance if your system is accurate and you also can uh, retrieve and print out the data okay so worker can record no problem but what about printing then he's going to transfer the data into computer and print again so a lot of time loss a lot of, uh, is already happening there when you talk about this uh, manual work okay that's, uh, then these are actual uh, integration of the system from here you see uh, uh, the first one is the vaping so we, we provide two systems to the factory then the boss decide okay from here uh i think some of you might be familiar with smt type of machine fabrication with smt component so the conveyor belt is going through so in this case we use camera to capture that's one very very simple way very simple. i would say our system is not that complicated because we're not going to intend to uh solve a very complicated system within a very short time so what we want to do is focus let's say you have any problem just one problem enough then we solve that problem slowly when you solve 10 problem then equivalent you solve a big problem so we, uh, my concept is always break down your problem into small pieces because if you don't do that forever you will not start doing it. <laughs> okay this one actually is counting pcb i mean of course they already they might have machine to count but the machine to count the data is not taken into the iot cloud it's not stored okay I offer for you is about data, so you need to be stored elsewhere. Okay, in this case, uh, uh, we can see that uh, uh, this allows us to optimize the system, the flow. Uh, I think the owner also interested in the missing component. Okay, project it could be a second phase up. So that is the what we're doing. So we see when we see the product, we actually can capture everything passing through the camera, and then of course we can monitor. Uh, things happening like number of pieces, number of missing components, we all, all can become automized. So I want to share with you is the automation part. Okay, digital innovation is about how you can make use of whatever existing that we have, and to make to kind of push into the cloud, and then from the cloud, uh, you can download, you can display on your uh, smartphone. Okay, so it's not that difficult to do. It just need to redo it. Uh, do it now. I mean, you reboot now, you know, and then uh, this it is the Android application that uh, basically we are creating. Like for example, this is very same thing. You see, uh, up and down means the production. Production means uh, then uh, this just a uh, dummy data. Not the dummy. It's actual data, but we didn't present it in the final version. 
because the final version we have to give to the company <laughs> so in this case we don't show you the final version because everything we do here we do it for the company and uh, as well as uh, we have to uh, send a report to ministry of ministry so uh, over here the image may not be that final okay it's just a uh, tester test prototype testing so we also re i mean android application now is quite popular la. i think some company looking for android programmer actually we some of see students we are able to build an android application customizing your needs depending on your scope of work okay so all these are uh, we also integrate a reward system so this one we written in-house the good thing about localization little malaysia gun the longer malaysia so uh we 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 are able to customize your need of for example the durian thing uh you you can let us solve your problem maybe you want to avoid any theft or into your farm we can build a system for you you want to wait the how many pieces of durian you you harvest then we also have this weighing system i mean some company also like from palm oil industry they also interested in the weaving because they need to weigh the oil pump okay so uh then all these things it can be optimized can be digitalized uh, uh pretty much is very fast that you just send to the cloud and the, let the cloud do the work and then some of these uh cloud system they have ai so they have help you analyze the good thing also very easy is reporting the database already there you just print out so imagine when you don't have all these system you are need to manually count when start to any start to you know so that is a very tedious work that you have so I think we, we really need to reboot now means that we have to change our mindset. Something small we solve using the IoT, using IR 4.0, and then uh, we don't certify with whatever we have. We must move forward and to an advanced country. I mean, one step further, just one step by one step. So we will reach there, you know. That, that is the concept I have. And I appreciate with you how we help this country to uh, improve that efficiency. The factory actually is exporting their finished goods to oversee. So for them, they really need to know how they can monitor the uh, output. Of course, we do it for them. Whether at the end they want to use or not is really not up to me to say. But same thing to you is that if your SME here and if you, do, if you face problem every day, <laughs> you have problem every day, uh, regardless you are from what kind of SME, when you tell you wake up, you have problem. So let, let's go together this problem you nano now. If anything you think that you need IoT, you not only approach me, you can approach any UST or other company to help you to solve. But if you try to buy a solution, I think it's quite hard. I think it's time for us to be aware that we work together. Okay. So back to this project means that it increased revenue because one good thing is all monitoring is the the stop knowing that your monitor of course human is complicated lah, but at least they know that they do have to take they do have to write i mean that will improve their uh, efficiency in this case of course reduce manpower doesn't mean you need to cut people you just need to reallocate uh, your uh, workers to a more efficient in a more efficient way they don't have to worry about monitoring don't have to every day need to count how many pieces of finished good i mean let the machine do the work i would think that way yeah. okay so uh potential application of this technology pretty much uh it can be in many areas i think you if you attend few talks people already show to you but over here uh i, I would like to link uh, my uh, project or invention to the potential technology more specifically it's not a very general it's not like iot can do everything not like that so i think it's uh, we have to focus okay so iot technology that uh, basically in this example like real-time security system we introduce the detention on off hours or automated cashier system we integrate image processing definition so image processing we can use image processing that uh, uh, to detect what is happening uh, the cashier side okay the agriculture civilian is normal okay we can use that i know some of you might be farmer for example your company doing a lot of agriculture that is uh, something is possible we can do medical based variable device that is more on hospital i mean you know somebody has a hospital so we have very very certain device and then or 
to monitor old people, elderly people, for example, we call it elderly, you know, tell them old. Elderly people then uh, to detect their movement, all these things. It's possible to be used in medical uh, uh, environment. Of course, logistics is very popular. I mean, Crank is not too far away from my the place. Uh, not too far from Sunway. So if you are from uh, career services or logistic company, I mean, all these IR4 power able to check. Okay, you, you see, I, I already have my sensory system over uh, building for the company. If I change a little bit, I think I can use for uh, one or two area here. Any potential area, we call it potential area here, uh, is possible, okay? Uh, I mean, nevertheless, it's still not uh, not, on, not only these five areas only. It can be more than five. In fact, it can be more than 20, for example. But I would say that because uh, the, the invention that I have is more toward this waving, it's more toward image processing, counting, more to cloud system. So uh, I would like to focus on this area so that I speak this five area, I think. Other area is also possible. Like in the early stage, I share with you my invention in robotic, all these robots in the library, the drone. Uh, we just got a project for the drone for the forest surveillance. All this uh, is possible. But I think uh, you, your big guy is SME, so I guess you also produce something. I think maybe uh, majority of you guys from uh, food industry. Okay, food industry also got a lot of problem every day, <laughs> every day, every week. Even now, Friday, you also got problem, right? <laughs> Before you come to this uh, reboot now by Astro and Wani. So um, that, that's very important, uh, I mean, uh, to, to think beyond what you have now, okay, and to act accordingly, okay? And of course, uh, we are very happy if you guys uh, uh, wanted to uh, uh, have a talk with us and Astro in some industry. And then uh, we are very happy to talk to the industry. And uh, we have a number of uh, organizations or department. Actually, we can link together and to help you to solve your problem. Okay. You can do a QR scan if you want. But if you do want also, never mind. You can just Google somewhere here. May I see. Okay. Then uh, this is the uh, one very short video clip that I want to share with you how we help the factory to improve the productivity. Uh, okay, just... This is the system we are building for the factory lab called PCBA using email processing and web detection technique. My name is Jeff. I'm a production engineer. So today I will talk about how this project will impact on the product efficiency and the process. So let's see before. So previously we will count each board by each board manually. So after we count, we will go right on the whiteboard. Like now, what's the time now? Four to five. I will write down how many pieces I count. So, this is the quantity. After the whole day, we will record inside the book manually. As the PCB go through the conveyor, the camera will capture the PCB count and record in the cloud. This image processing setup is much easier compared to manual counting as a save time and energy. Before implement this playing skill system, 
we used to count it manually by estimation. After we finish, we count it manually. But this is not accurate. So the cow will be instant. The cow will upload to the cloud. After implementing this training skill system, the counting is much easier and accurate. The apps pull data from the cloud and display the production data visually and it makes production monitoring easier. Thank you, Jeff. As you can see here, uh, basically, this is uh, we call it a working prototype. Okay, uh, we we do improve it with close to industry standard, but of course, uh, due to uh, funding issue, we are not able to make it like hundred percent industry standard. Okay, but the system is working. The software is written by us, so uh, you are feel free to talk to us, and uh, we see what we can help you to customize. Uh, your problem. I mean, to give you a solution based on your problem that you have, you know. All right, just one second. Just stop here. All right. Uh, this uh, beside uh, building all this system, uh, working together with the company, we do have talents that actually uh, working behind the scene, and then we have all these students working part time. Of course, they are uh, compared. Maybe if you say compared to outside the full time programmer. But don't worry, the, the outside full time com <laughs> programmer actually uh, also come from us. For example, some of the some are nine, some of them not all. Okay, so these are the opportunity for for us to train the young people. So I I also very happy to work with any university or SME. Even if you, you do have programmer, we can interchange. Uh, up to uh, 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 we can interchange our SPM with you, and you we can learn together. You know. And they all form from different background in our school. Okay, we have IT, computer science, and uh, some of them are analytic as well, and, uh, and some of them entrepreneurship student. Okay, uh, I think with that, I I would say, um, uh, and then this slide actually prepared by my master student. Uh, he's working in automation of palm oil harvesting with sensor and AI technology in smart agriculture. This is also one of my students, and then uh, we also went happy if any SME you are working in palm oil and then uh, we do have all this uh, uh, intention to uh, help you to solve your problem by basically okay so I think with that uh, this is my entire sharing and I want to say the IR4 Pro actually is about data and we are here to help you to capture the data without the data you don't have to talk about IR4 Pro okay so Data is very powerful. Okay, after we capture the data, we will pass to the data scientist or data editor to analyze that. Okay, so I am bridging the gap between. I'm not doing the entire data analytic or data setting, uh, and then having the data after you analyze, you can uh, you can kind of uh, uh, get the right scene about your factory or company, and then from there, like what this factory was talking about, they can improve their productivity. <laughs> They, when they improve their property, means they improve their revenue, improve their profit, and then they can pay their employee better salary, and then the country, the society will benefit from the higher pay. We want to uh, improve everything, okay, so that we want to help our country to grow the GDP. I think this is very important. What I'm doing here is just a small step to. Uh, uh, kind of develop a system to help the factory. I mean, of course, you might wonder why the factory don't buy. I mean, yes, you are right, you can buy, but the problem is that buying is not customizing what you need. A lot of time you went buy something, um, it's just off of the shelf, people will customize for you. 
And uh, the good thing about working with ESC, we have resources like what I show you, a student. And this could be your future staff, you know, some of maybe you are from uh, IT company, for example, or I, I do because I cannot see your background. So I guess we have to work together. That's, that's why uh, some thank you to Summit Business School and uh, my own school, School of Engineering and Technology, and so so the ESO Awani. I think uh, it's a very good conference that we bring people together and we can discuss and uh, the next step we can see how we can find some funding and do some uh, proof of concept or even beyond that you know there are a lot of funding available and we USC also need your uh, experience in the industry I think it's very beneficial for everyone as well as for the young people for the student I think they learn a lot from this project okay I think that's all from my side I just uh I just unshare the screen okay all right, that, that's me. Yep. Oh, we have a chat. Sorry for the new music mistake. Okay. I think it's no no longer noisy now, right? Yeah. So. Okay. Do you have any question? So anybody got any question that you want to ask? This is a break breakout section, right? So yeah.
Okay, uh, thank you very much to everyone uh, who attended the, this breakout section. Uh, this is just the beginning of the uh, sharing that we did in some university. It's not the entire thing that uh, can solve every of your problem. And it's just a sharing of what we are doing here uh, in uh, school of uh, business school, somewhere business school and uh, school of engineering and technology. Uh, we, we, we all here to uh, basically help the SME uh, to provide digital innovation. And of course, uh, this road, road map is not very short. It won't happen in one week or one month. It could possibly throughout the years that of effort that uh, we have to work together. And then in certain cases, uh, we even need to experience failure. Okay. After failure, we may we if we succeed to do uh, the work, I think uh, that is good. It's a, always a learning curve for us, and having as a, a head of human uh, machine collaboration, I think the robotics, the IR four point basically could possibly help. I mean, it's already proven. Uh, these are the correct path for us to move our country forward, and without much. Um, uh, thinking, I think we should start acting on it, and then a lot of facility by the government, by the uh, any company or any SME corp, SME corp. I think if you 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 should try to apply some of this money, and then uh, but work together is important in certain contexts because to understand that uh, your problem might not be only yours. It could be uh, other people are having the same problem. So if we, we are able to work together, I think that, that that will be very interesting to have. I mean, we, we can have a, a very good conversation with you guys if you are interested. I mean, of course, we cannot promise that we can solve your problem all night. But if, if you start planning, uh, have a good timeline, have a good uh, milestone, I think slowly can kind of... Uh, uh, able to solve the problem, I would say that. Okay, thank thank you for everybody for joining the breakout section. Uh, uh, I'm very happy and very honored to share with you my work in here in some university. Thank you. Bye bye.